What is up troops? Welcome back to the channel. We're jumping straight back in with some footage from Ukraine. We have got a mixture of Ukrainian and Russian stuff today, but Sod's Law. Of course we get some Russian footage and it's got some music slapped across the top, which is always good. As always, you can catch both these clips in the Telegram and Discord, which is down in the description. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But let's jump straight in. So we are starting off right away with a Ukrainian clip here. And this is another operation amongst the trench system. And you can just see how much com more complicated it gets, especially if you've been using artillery and mortars to suppress the position and soften it up. You can see the debris fell into the trench, making it move it harder. The guy has been caught out on the assault up front. Obviously taking a blast in the face. And this always goes back to the physicality point. You can imagine how hard it is to fight through a trench. Imagine how hard it is once there's rubble all over the floor. You have to break out the trench. Just makes it even more hard. The constant way of fire going down. And I assume it's going to be the same as most of these other assaults when it's just one Russian position as I try to push out. But again, it goes back to that point, you need to stop, they're all bunched up together. Goal should he be spread out as much as physically possible. There is enough room in that trench. One grenade comes over, one mortar, and that's your whole team gone. Then you can see they are a bit more spread out there. So a fairly long trench, as you can see, it moves up into a fairly hard bit of cover there. And it just seems to be mainly blocked up with sticks and, and trees that have fallen down. And it just completely slows your momentum, making that attack harder and harder. Again, interesting the time it's taking them to move up. And again, the drone, I'm assuming, will be talking them on, even though I can't hear a radio, unless he's got an earpiece in and the drone's talking them on. But they seem like they've got fairly easy access all the way up. Only issue being they'd have to step outside the trench, which can be a bit annoying. So here's a Russian clip. You can tell it's Russian because it's got the music over the top. We've waited a long time for some Russian footage, and of course it's got music over the top. So this is supposedly a specialist recon unit and this is an assault on a village. And you can see the cameras cutting between here. This is probably the fire support position and then this will be the team moving up. And it's a fairly prolonged contact as you can see moving around the village Feels 
fairly heavyweight so far there. Again, that doesn't look like he's suppressing the position there. Looks more like he's engaging targets in a field. And this is where they're moving through the village. Heavyweight fire. Yeah, so it's definitely two people. As you can see, this guy's got an AK. This guy's in the PKM. And it seems like the fire support element here, and then there's another unit moving through the village. Whether this is an actual assault or a raid, unsure. But there's definitely two separate elements. You can hear that weight fire going down past them here. There, it gives you a better idea. It's a fairly long distance. I'm assuming the, the fire support position will be obviously to the south, looking down that way, engaging onto the village. Hard to see any movement, but they do seem to be engaging at quite a distance there. I'll say again, drones are absolutely wild now. Being able to see battles play out like this. And again, you'll have that added ability to talk on your fire support. Especially with the use of tracers and the drones. You can give directions to them where to aim as well, which is wild. And look how red hot his barrel is. That barrel is glowing red. So a nice little change. Very interested to know what they were doing in that village, whether it was a raid or they were trying to take it. Quick reminder, these are available in the Telegram and Discord, which is down in the description. Massive shout out to the patrons and YouTube members you can see coming up on the screen now. Thank you very much for your continued support, guys. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll hopefully see you soon. Cheers.